Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Baruch HaMavah. We're continuing in Mishnah Bura, Daf HaShavua. We begin a new uh, subject today. Simen Ayin Beis. Din Noisei Hamita V'Hamenachemim V'Hamalavim. The laws of those who carry the bear, the consolers, and those who escort. It says in Mechaber, Noisei Hamita, those who carry the bear, V'Chilufehen, and those who take their place, and those who take the place of the replacements. Basically, the second tier and the third tier. Whether those before the bear or after. Since the mita that the mess is on needs them, paturim, they're exempt from Kriyashima. Ushar hamalavin es the other escort, the others who escort the mess, she'ein la mita tzarech behem, that the mita doesn't need, chayavim, they are chayav. Says the Mishnah Bura, v'chilufei chilufeyen, af al pish sheyesh shehus la achreinim likrei ba'ot shenoisim rishanim. Basically, you have people carrying the coffin, and, or the body, and then you have people on standby, and you have the people who are on standby, on standby, even though technically the ones who are on standby, they have time to say Shema while they wait. I feel hachi pater and they're still pater. Why? Sometimes they consult with them and they give them to carry. Therefore, they should not begin to carry Shema because they don't want to be caught, let's say, in a situation where they're causing a delay. Says the Mishnah Sivkatan Bez. Um, since the mita needs them. Let's say in a city where there is a, uh, a group designated for this. And all the members of the Chavura, they, they switch to carry. They all want a Zuchus in it. They're all Pater from Shema. Because they are occupied an occupation of mitzvah. It's interesting, the Bir Halacha earlier, I'm sorry, the Mishnah Brura earlier, mentioned, Mishnah Brura earlier mentioned that if someone's doing a mitzvah and his Iker Kavana is for schar, let's say his main Kavana is to, uh, his main Kavana is to get schar. So then, the Mishabura said, we don't say oisek b'mitzvah, pater min mitzvah If he's the only one who could do it, then it could be he has the din of oisek b'mitzvah. That's the, the bir halacha earlier. Okay. Va'afilu harachoyke mehamita, the Mishabura says, even those who are at a distance from the, from the bed. If there's no Chabura designated for this, those who are close to the bed are Pater. Because them, it's a derech to be mezaka them in the mitzvah when the yoke of those carrying the bed is heavy. Those who are far from the bed are Chayev. Okay. Chayavim b'kriyashma. V'yafal pi shehalvayas hameisu b'chlag milas chasadim. Even though escorting the mess is included in doing chesed. Ugmilas chasadim hu minat Torah. And chesed is minat Torah. In other words, why is it that only someone who potentially could be called upon to carry the mess is patah from Shema, and those who are escorting the mess are chayiv? The ants, so in other words, they're also being mekayim the mitzvah of gemilas chasadim. He says, They're not preoccupied. They could read the first Pasuk with Kavana standing up, the Hashar and the rest as they're walking. They are exempt from Kovav, like it's written in Simon Kovav. Okay. The um, Avas Chesed writes, when you carry out a mess, Lekvura, the Levaya, in other words, escorting a mess, when you carry it out, 
when you carry out the body from his house for Kvura, it's Bechlal the Mitzvah of Kvura. And therefore, there's a Mitzvah to escort until Kvura. The Nitziv says the Mitzvah is Arba Amois. Ula Mitzvah min HaMuvchar Ad Mil. But the Chavetz Chaim says the mitzvah of Levaya is until the mess is buried. And he sort of leaves off as with a Tzarchion, you know, why people don't really do this. People don't really escort all the way until, uh, until burial. Okay. Now, so it comes out, the reason why those who are escorting are Pater is because they're not Tarud. They could say the first Pasuk and the rest they could say when they're walking. But they are Pater from Tefillah. Melavim are Pater from Tefillah. Says the Mechaber Sif Beis, Ein Moitzien es Hames Samach L'Kriya Shema. We do not take out a mess close to the Zman Kriya Shema. She'ein Shas L'Hitziyay U'Lekavrai Kaidim She'egeh Zman Kriya Shema. That there won't be time to take him out and to bury before the Zman Kriya Shema. I mean, we don't start taking out the mess in a way that it's going to be Mavato people from the Krishma, but in Meschilul, I see if they start to take him out, in Mavsikin Kedai Likros, then we don't interrupt to read the Shema. It says in the Mishnabura, in Moitzian, meaning we don't take out the mess. Let's say it's 10 minutes before the Zman Krishma, and if we start taking out the mess now, then it's going to take three and a half hours, we're going to lose the Zman Krishma, we're going to lose it, then we should not take out the mess yet. If the Zman already came, then, they should delay until the time that they could estimate that the majority of the tzibur already said the Shema. By the way, we learn out from this din, we learned out in Simen Lamed Ches, that those who are writing Sifrei Torah Mezuzos, who are Pater from Kriya Shema, it's also for them to start when the Zman Kriya Shema starts, they have to first say Shema. And we should estimate, the Mishnah Baruch says, Vegam Shanoi Se Hamitik Far Karvis Bal. We also have to estimate that those who carry the Mita already read and they davened. Okay. We don't take out the mess. Afilu Adam Chashav. We don't take out a mess even in Adam Chashav. You'll say, well, maybe in Adam Chashav we could take out right away, and thereby people will lose the Zman Kriyashma. No. Even in Adam Chashav. Because we don't have in our time a real Chashav person that we could be makel and take out his, his uh, body close to the Zman Kriyashma and be goyrem that people will lose the ability to say Shema. Mishnabura Siv Katan Vav. Sheyagiyah Zman. We don't take out the mess where there's no time to take him out and bury before the Zman Krishma. The fact that the Mechaber does not distinguish between morning and night, it's Mashma, the same din would be by Krishma Shal Arvis. However, Uladina, Halach Lamaisa, Skimo Achorenim, Lachorenim, Marmaskim, Lahakel Bashal Arvis, to be lenient with the evening, Lafishem Loyik Bereno Hayoim. If you don't bury him today, Yavar Aloy Solin. You're going to violate not leaving the body overnight. And even though, and the night you could bury him after the Krishma and after the Tefillah, so you say you're not going to be Loy Solin because you're, going to, you're not going to let him be hanging out overnight. Nevertheless, I'll call upon him, Yavar Al Mitzvah Sasei, Ki Kavar Tikben Yemahu. If you don't bury him, right away in the beginning of the Zman. In other words, we're talking about a situation where it's close to the Zman Kriya Shemeshel Arvis. And we say, well, don't start to bury him 10 minutes before the Shkia because you're going to miss the Zman Kriya Shemeshel Arvis. Well, in that case, even though maybe you won't violate Loi Solin, you are going to violate Kavar Tik Brenu Bayamahu. Therefore, the Achroinim argue on what the Mechaber implies, namely, they hold that when it comes to Kriyashma Shal Arvis, you do bury the mess. If you don't bury before the Shkiyavim. If it happened that taking out the, the body was delayed 
until dark. Yamtinu milahitsiyai, you should wait from taking him out. Ad sh- uh, um, you should wait to take out the body until the Tzibor Davin Marev. So even in this instance where you will violate Kikavar Tikbreno, because it already got delayed until the night time, but you should try to ensure that the people Davin Marev first. Sivkatan Zayin, if they started to take him out, even after the Zman of Shema, Ein Mavsikin, we don't interrupt Perush. We don't stop the people who need to carry out the bed. Even if by doing so they're going to be over on the Zman. Burying the dead is biblical. Those who the Mita does not need are obligated to read right away. Even though there is still time to read the Shema. Okay, we're going to hold it over here, Rabbi Isai. Tomorrow... We're going to do Beli Nether, a double header. This will put us back on track. Um, okay, Rabbi Sai, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's limit is very short, so we'll do two. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day. Safe travels. Can I ask a question on Florida? Sure. Yes.